the next ratio that we are going to see is cash conversion cycle what essentially is cash conversion cycle the cash conversion cycle essentially c triple c indicates how long do we do the shareholders fund the business so let's look at it graphically let's say on day 0 we buy raw material on day 0 we buy raw material so we process it we process it and produce finished goods and sell on let's say 10th day you are collecting so you neither paid for raw material you neither collected your sale here on 15th day for whatever you have sold you have collected cash so from the day of purchasing it took 15 days for you to collect cash so it takes 15 days for you to collect cash from the day of purchasing raw material so you can say your working capital cycle is 15 days because from day of day 0 it takes 15 days to collect your cash however you do not pay for this raw material on 0th day rather let's say you are paying it on 8th day you are paying it on 8th day so now how long is your money blocked you actually your money gets blocked on the 8th day only and you collect your cash on 15th day so your money is blocked in the business for 15 minus 8 days which is 7 days so while your working capital cycle could be 15 days your money is blocked only for 7 days because you paid for the raw materials on 8th day and made a sale on 10th day but collected on 15th day so the money blocked is only between this and this and not between this and this so your working capital cycle eventually is <clears throat> only for 7 days so if you see here notionally what has happened is between this and this that is raw material to sale is your days inventory in hand because here you buy raw material the moment you buy raw material it becomes inventory till the time you sell it it remains as inventory either as raw material or finished goods or work in progress so from here to here it is days inventory in hand from this point to this point it is day sales outstanding from 10th day to 15th day it is day sales outstanding from this point to this point it is days payable outstanding so you get 15 by adding DIH plus DSO in this case from that we subtracted 8 which is DPO so minus DPO which is cash conversion cycle so your cash conversion cycle is days inventory in hand plus days sales outstanding minus days payable outstanding or these two are assets right so your <coughs> days assets in hand minus days liabilities which is equal to cash conversion cycle right so let's go ahead and calculate this ratio DIH we have already calculated this in the previous section DIH days inventory in hand is on top plus days sales outstanding minus days payable outstanding which is here so 4.33 last year this year it is 16.47 so let's connect them one by one only so inventory turnover ratio is 33.41 and sales outstanding is 26.8 and payable outstanding is 55.9. So DIH which is an asset, sales outstanding is also an asset minus liability of 55.9. So this number has increased. So what does this imply is <coughs> last year 
it took only four days to realize your cash. Four days of cash was blocked in the system. This year, 16 and a half days of worth of cash is blocked in the system. So this number increasing is not good. Right? So between last year and this year, the cash conversion cycle has increased, meaning it has worsened. This is how you have to calculate and interpret cash conversion cycle.